up and over nice and easy. I feel well I. <laughs> he is big, isn't he? Pull both friends to just slow him down a bit. And pull him back. There you go, that's better. I'm sharing my story because I've suffered myself and I want to encourage other people that it gets better, it gets a lot easier if you open up to someone. You know, people have been struggling with the extra pressures from social media and the effects of the pandemic, the cost of living crisis. The world becoming a harder place to be a young person in, really. I'm Amy, I'm 15. I like horse riding. When I was out at the horse, it took my mind off everything that was going on at home. Before school, what me and my mate do is we sit on FaceTime whilst we're getting ready for school. So I'll call my mate and then I'll do my makeup and then I'll probably go downstairs and I'll post and that's it. I used to live with my mum and my dad, but my mum and dad got a divorce. 13 or 14, I think I was. I can't really remember. I felt pretty lost. I just kind of sit in bed on my phone. It was pretty like overwhelming for me. I was pretty angry inside. You kind of sit there by yourself and you kind of think, oh, I have no one. I can't open, I can't open up to no one. Because I was so angry, I decided to take it out on myself. And that's when my mum started realising that I'm struggling. And she said, you need help, so what we did was we went straight to a and &E. I'm going to have to start getting counselling. And that's when I met Nick from the Children's Society. The Children's Society is trying to reverse this overall general decline in, in children's mental health. Only by accepting that what actually matters to that young person is important, that allows them to work through it to kind of come out the other side. We have a range of different mental health services and they operate all across England. What I like about working as a counsellor is it gives me a chance to try to reduce the amounts of suffering in the world. That can be incredibly rewarding. I went to Nick and then that's when things started getting a lot better for me because I'd open up to him and he'd understand how I felt. He'd sit there and listen. The service which Amy was able to access is called Safe Zones. It's part of the NHS's post-crisis de-escalation pathway and people are able to be referred when they've already experienced some sort of mental health crisis. I had my weekly sessions with Nick for four months. Young people's wellbeing is absolutely crucial for helping them function in day-to-day -day life in order to get enjoyment out of every aspect of life and to be able to apply themselves to whatever they're trying to do. Good wellbeing is what makes people feel good and enjoy life. When I went to Nick at first, I was lost. I didn't know what to do with myself. He taught me strategies on how to calm myself down. See, like, I was feeling upset. I'd take a deep breath and I'd count down from 10 until I can calm down. He brought me back. Several of the things that Emmy had been struggling with, a lot of young people are dealing with at the moment. The sooner a young person can get help with whatever they're struggling with, usually the less bad it gets. Also, the interventions tend to be more effective as well. What I'd like to share is don't suffer alone because I did that for quite a bit and it makes you a lot worse. Just open up to them and then maybe they'll understand how you're feeling. Therefore, then you're not balling it up so there's no anger building inside of you and you're not suffering alone. In the future, I was thinking of working on cabin crew and being a beauty manager. So I was thinking if I do both, I'll get a lot of money for it and I'm doing both the things I wanted to do.